you're wanting to learn how to make a uh, VB program that is going to rename a file, well, you came to the right video. This is Mr. V Basic Productions, and that's exactly what I'll be showing you how to do. So, open up Visual Basic. <clears throat> we'll start off by showing you what this program is capable of doing. So let's exit out of here. I'm just going to create a new text document here. It doesn't have to be a text document, but... Alright. And... I come over here and run this program. I'm just going to minimize this so you can see. Now it's got its own little file opener. Select with file. Select that one. Now you can select your new file name. I'm just going to name it test. And file type. Dot text. So I'm just going to click rename file and I'll rename it. Now to prove that it renames it, I'm going to come over here and say test. This is a test. Subscribe. Alright. And we're just going to save it like it is. So again, we're going to open it up. Make sure, first of all, it did save. Alright. I'm going to name that anything like subscribe. And I'm going to name it as a uh, .txt again. Rename the file. And notice how it still keeps the same text. So it's not fake. And here is the code of this. First thing you're going to do is you're going to want three labels. One for file location. One for new file name. And one for file type. You're just going to want three text boxes and two buttons. These all have the original uh, names for them. Like this is label one. If I'm right. Yeah. It's label one. So. It should be easy designing. But uh, button one should be rename file. Button two should be your little uh, file opener. And then it should just go text box one, text box two, text box three. Make sure that the text on text box three is just a little dot. And then these don't really matter for the names. You can double click on your rename file button. And this is where half your code, or this is where all your code really relies on. So I uh, threw in a try statement that way if anybody has problems or errors, it won't really uh, freeze the program, lock the program, however you want to say. It will just uh, keep going. So like watch. Normally if I were to just click this, it would lock the program. Well, it doesn't because of this statement right here. So let's go through what this code does. This is pretty much going through and to rename this file, textbox1.txt, which is this one right here. When you open it up, it's going to rename that to textbox2.txt and textbox3.txt. All that's saying is your new name, and then I've got it set to the file extension like dot this, dot that. Um, one thing you're going to want to make sure you have is your folder options. I don't know if y'all know how to do that or not. I'm not going to go through this tutorial and say how to, just for the sake of time. But um, <clears throat> let's get on to your button. Oh wait, no. Let me finish off. Don't let me get ahead of myself. So, now you're renaming it, and then after you rename it, you're just setting all these thing, uh, all these text box back. And let me make an edit to that. Alright. So now you're going to take text box 3.txt and just replace it back with a dot. So, then you have this. Now, let's look at this button that opens this app. So you're going to dim open as a new file dialog. 
Now you're going to show that dialog that you just, you know, dimmed. And then now you're going to make sure that whatever you selected, that's what the text box one that text equals. Therefore, it makes it easier. Now, there could be a million ways to design it. I chose this way uh, over all of them. Uh, but that's pretty much it.